It's 2020, it's the Blackmagic Design eGPU, uh, it's the e Pro version, and it's been out for just over a year now. I've wanted this one for a while, it's quite heavy, I've got to say, but the design of this is beautiful, it's a really nicely made product. £1,200 though? I don't know about that. So I want to test this out with my new 4K display with a Mac Mini 2018 i7 to see if it makes any difference whatsoever with Lightroom and with Final Cut Pro X. Now this is not technical, I'll do some benchmarks uh, from some programs that I'll download, but it's gonna be a short review to see if it's really worth the money. All right, let's get in. So the first test is from a company called Novabench and it's more of a figures one this so you i've already done some figures on the uh, standard computer which is the mac mini and i'm about to start the next test so these are the standard figures and here's the next test so it takes about a minute and a half on this one i'll speed through this so you don't have to wait to the end so that's the test complete let's just check side by side so similar scores obviously on all of them apart from the gpu so with the uh, eGPU the vega card is 547 and with the gpu from the mac mini it's 227 so double the difference in in that respect now the next test i'm going to do is from a company called unique valley it's the benchmark valley is what they call it and i'm going to run this one without the Vegas 56 card or the eGPU connected first of all so you can see what the base is like from a Mac Mini 2018. Now uh, I, as soon as I click run here this should kick in. Okay here we go it's just loading taking a while here we go Ooh, that's not so good. Five frames a second. Now let me just check the quality. It's even only on medium. So I'm going to ultra because that's what we're going to run the other card on as well. Okay, it's loading. The fans are starting to kick in on the Mac Mini. Yeah, that's really bad. I knew this one would be visual. We've gone down to, I know, four stroke five frames a second. The Mac Mini is hot and the fans are kicking in. I'm sure if I leave this, it's going to just get hotter and hotter and hotter. But that is really bad. That's uh, unviewable. OK, so let's quit out of that. God, it's even slow to quit. It's really struggling. And have a quick look to see. Yeah, look at that. So the GPU history here on that card, it was maxed out there. It was absolutely you know, gunning for the hills but let's plug the GPU back in and that's one of the really nice things about the Blackmagic design version you just plug it in uh, it's via the Thunderbolt 3 it works immediately no drivers no nothing all you need to be careful of is to disconnect it uh, when you finish with it so it's connected I'm just going to hit the click uh, the run button again and that's loading here we go well, immediately you can see the difference but let me just check the quality go to ultra it reloads it again okay we're on ultra it's wow well, it's gone 41 frames per second um, it's smooth maybe dropping a couple of tiny little frames but nothing major at all wow look at that what a difference yeah, so as I said, this is a really, really visual test. This is where you're going to see the difference. I have used it on Final Cut Pro already. It's great at rendering. It speeds that up. 
uh, when you're analyzing the audio it seems to help there as well and definitely on stabilization as well when you add that to a clip when you add a filters it really helps uh, it really does help pretty much all the way through I haven't got to the export yet but I'm, I'm absolutely convinced it's going to help on that front so this has been a really interesting test to me uh, I hope you have enjoyed it I hope it's been useful for you uh, it has for me so let's see you in the next video bye